Hello, this is Broad. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Stellaris. Our empire is getting pretty big, honestly. Uh, we are quite a bit over our administrative capacity, but it's just one of those things that happens, I think. I don't think there's any way really to ever get away from, from that. We're going to go up to speed two for the moment. Probably bumped up to speed three here in a, in a bit, but we're about to start a battle, so we'll leave it on speed two just, just for now. Um, I think with the situation log, we're about to finish the amoeba thing. Got the L cluster stuff going on, temples of unity things going on, precursor stuff, etc., etc. So our fleet's over here. Um, oh, these are guys are passive now. Are they really? Oh, are we gonna fight them or are they just completely passive? I guess they're passive. Okay, I guess we could send our guy over here to explore the system now because we are good with the uh, the crystal entities. Complete. I guess we just hadn't come back over here since uh, we did all that stuff. Because I think we pacified them at one point. Uh, we just hadn't been back over here since. It's tempting to come over here with our ships and see what happens. But that would be, I think, a really bad idea. Um, we still got the piracy issues going on in just this one place. But, I mean, it, it's a thing. So why don't we just send our... Our fleets over here for a moment. I don't know. Um, maybe, do they just have to patrol it? Do they need to stay in there? I actually don't know. Britain finish its construction. Uh, Aether Prime needs some construction. You have overcrowding and unemployed pops. So we'll get you a city. Uh, do you not have a governor? This is a new district. It is. Uh, okay, fair enough. Or a sector, I should say. Actually, a couple sectors we don't have governors for. All right, apparently you're available. Sounds good. Oh, you must have been the one that was on Trebolor at one point and uh, <laughs> got eaten. Uh, Trebolor is still colonizing, so we'll wait until it finishes colonizing, then we'll worry about the the thing there, the sector. All right, uh, go ahead and go back home and upgrade. I, well. Yeah, go ahead and finish this, but I'm just going to do a, a flyby. I don't know if that resets anything or if we actually literally have to stick some guys there for, like, kind of on our permanent basis. All right, we're going to go ahead and just... Avoiding hostiles due to evasive stance. I'm assuming we will get smushed. So let's go to your stance. Um... Why don't we cancel? Is there a way to change your stance? Or I'm not, I must not be, oh yeah, I'm not selecting the construction ship. Oh, there we go, fleet stance. Okay, so now it could move here. I have my doubts that this will actually work, but we're going to try. I have a feeling it's just going to die, <laughs> to be honest, but I won't know till I try. That's honestly the best way to know. I, I, I think it's hostile, but there's, I mean, it's still technically flying around here and not, not attacking anything. So maybe it won't be hostile to our non-hostile ships and things. Uh, okay, you go ahead and finish setting up the mining stations there. Here it comes. Is he gonna die? He's gonna die, isn't he? Construction ship under attack. Yep. He's gonna die. Ship lost. Oh. Okay. Well, now we know. I thought it would. I didn't know for sure. Again, because because it's leaving the mining stations alone, I thought maybe it'll just ignore the construction ship, but it doesn't. Not the end of the world. Um. So you have uh, unemployed pops. I don't really have anything I want to build right now, honestly. And I like to clear up the block. I don't really want more minerals, honestly. We got plenty of minerals. I'm going to give you more food, but I don't really feel like I need that right this second either. I guess we'll just leave it unemployed for now. 
I don't think it'll be the end of the world. Oh, Vitor died. Um, let's recruit us a new, a new scientist. Field manipulation, anomaly discover chance, okay. Statecraft. Guess we'll grab, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. We'll just grab one of you guys. And... I mean, it doesn't really matter at the moment, but we may swap you up here uh, if we get the field manipulation stuff. Or, I mean, I could swap you now, but I don't think it really matters, that, honestly. Construction complete. Other than that, I'll probably forget to do anything about it. All right, I have tons of alloys, so uh, where's our fleet? So it is there. Check the trade. So piracy suppression is good. I mean, I don't know. Let's just go back home then. Uh, in fact, we'll just select the upgrade and it should send you back home automatically. Uh, and plus, uh, we have enough to reinforce as well. We'll do both. Get you capped out. Amoebas pacify. Temporarily refraining from venting certain emissions from our vessels. Uh, reactor cores, while in the immediate vicinity of space amoebas flock, seems to be enough to not arouse their ire. With this new protocol in place, they no longer pose a threat, and we have been able to study them at a close range. Cool. Amoeba breeding program. So these, established. these amoebas up here are now effectively passive. Um, governor is good. Colony is established. We do need to get you a leader, I suppose. Um, it's a pretty good governor, but not for this particular location, I don't feel like. Just give it less upkeep. Sounds good. And colony is good to go. It's good. Uh, it doesn't look like it's got any anything bad here. Nah, we seem, seem fine. Well, that's good. Whatever mutants were there are no longer there. Complete. So Aether, complete. Aether Prime's still doing its thing. It's just kind of stuck there. We can't do anything with it. A thorough investigation of Escala 4A has unearthed evidence of a past Arasian presence. An away team from the ISS Nomad has managed to bring a relatively well-preserved artifact back to the ship, which could hopefully increase our knowledge of this ancient civilization. So we're even more artifacts. How many artifacts do we have now? Finished that. Finished all of that. So we've recovered five of six. Um, okay, these are the four we know about, I suppose. Is that what this is saying? Because this over here is something else. So I guess there is one more somewhere. These are all completed, right? Yeah, these are all completed. Those are the Temple of Unity things. Cultist flagships is one of the ones down here. Um, and we have the Elgate stuff. Looks like you're not building anything, and you are currently housing capped. Oh no, you have a building slot available. Um, what do we want? I mean, consumer goods at some point will need to be done again. I mean, I'm tempted to just keep doing the uh, alloy thing for now. That's what we're using a lot of. It's not a lot of alloys, though, to be fair, but I guess it's okay. All right, construction ship, you are good to go. Guess we will come, I don't know, let's build something around this L gate. All the L gates. Uh, Science ship. Come on. Here we go. Uh, okay, so you just finished that thing, which is fine. All of this, uh, no, actually, this over here should be fine because these are amoebas, right? So. 
I'm just going to sit you to passive for a second, because in theory, you should be able to go over there and be fine, because we are now pacified the Amoebas. Okay, so we can clear those type of tile blockers. Uh, fleet command limit, which is this one down here. Um, uh, I think it could be useful. Military Academy. The flagella can act as a strike craft for our ships. Interesting. Ah, we'll do another uh, clearing thing. Oh, so you have some upgrades. Just don't have the alloys. We just, <laughs> all we need right now are alloys. Alloys everywhere. Surely there's a way to get like a more efficient or more mass production of alloys somehow. Maybe there's upgrades for the buildings that we're using currently. We just haven't found the research for or something. I, was say, I did tell you to go out there, right? Yes, you did. You just haven't quite gotten there yet. Alright, let's go to go up to speed three for now. Got some more unemployed pops. Oh no, this is the same one, so. Still good. Um, Amelia Fleming has died. Oh, that's our strike force admiral. Interesting. 104 years old. Evasion, sublight speed, ship fire rate, sublight speed, light leader lifespan. Grab this one, I suppose. Stephanie Schneider. Construction complete. We're still doing upgrades there. Right, so yep, the amoebas are are for sure okay with us. Um ships upgraded. So ships are all upgraded. Are we completely filled out now? We're up to 36. We're not quite filled out yet. You are that's right, you were just moving there. Go ahead and build a star base. I mean, I guess we could come colonize this. Still have this one to colonize. Uh, we actually don't have any colonies going right now, do we? So, in theory... Yeah, why not? Why don't we go ahead and just colonize that one then? Unstable tectonics. It's more uh, research from jobs, apparently. Right, we got that going. Complete. Colony here can upgrade their capital building. Which seems like a good idea. Plus, they have an extra building slot and unemployed pops. So, after that, we will, I don't know, do we keep doing the alloy thing for now? We've got enough consumer goods for the moment, so I guess we'll do consumer goods when we need them, and we don't need them right this second. Population growth speed obviously good, but we'll stick with the alloy thing. Just keep going with that. I feel like that's our biggest blocker right now. Oh, you surveyed that. Nice. I guess we can continue uh, this direction then. Research complete. Research completed. Nice. Fusion reactor. Uh, research station output. I like that a lot. Actually, I like that a lot, a lot. So let's do that. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in Gossic system. These strange objects have been flagged as Beth aliens. Until we can learn more about them. Okay. That's a pretty quick research. Let's go ahead and knock that out real quick. Leader level up. You guys have even more upgrades now. Goodness. 
An alien empire has established communication. Hello. Finally, we found an alien empire. I was wondering when that would happen. I was like, oh my goodness, we've just not found anything. The, through our newly established context, we have gained access to a galactic marketplace for the purchase and sale of resources. This will surely be a great boon to the, the survivor's economy. After successfully translating, translating the language, we have established communications with the Queptilium Mercantile Guilds. We have made first contact with an alien empire. They are fanatic militarist. Authoritarian. Um. Bring greetings from Chairman Silver Nectar. Silver Nectar. The undisputed ruler of the Queptilian Mercantile Guilds. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs, and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. Um, so we both have militarists. As fellow Stark explorers, we salute you. The news that we have encountered intelligent aliens' life for the first time is spreading like a wildfire throughout the survivors of New Brittany. Our, civilian, our citizens are fascinated by these beings and the media is full of reports and speculation on their culture and society. The revelation that we are not alone in this galaxy has largely been greeted with celebration on New Brittany. Just like us, the aliens appear to be relatively new, relative newcomers on the galactic stage and their level of technology is similar to our own. We have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of dearth. Dearth, where is dearth? Um, oh, way over there, okay. Uh, a rift in the very fabric of space time is formed, creating a wormhole that our scientists speculate may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Etc., etc. Okay, so that's obviously a long way away from us. New strategic resource. Cool. All right. Um, wow, these guys are actually. I thought we were getting pretty big. These guys are pretty big as well, so. There is that. Now, let's pause for a second. We may want to come over here and like start settling some of these areas and just making sure that like we're claiming these spots, not letting them expand anymore. New strategic resource, which is what? This one? Volatile moats, I'm guessing. Missing in actions. Oh, it's okay. It's gone. Okay. It'll come back, I guess. Borders closed. Okay, fair enough. So we lost our science ship, I guess, for the moment, but it should come back. All right, you know what? We are going to go ahead and build us another construction ship, though, to kind of help fill out some of this stuff now that we know that some other guys do, in fact, exist. It'll take allies to do that, but that's all right. Construction complete. All right, so our star base over here, we, looks like these guys are just never going to expand, so we probably could have filled that out. Um, I'm not too worried about it right this second, but it's not like there's anything super amazing over there. Um, this star base, though, I do want you to upgrade your stuff as well as build um, a few more just to make sure you're as strong as it can be. Construction complete. We'll come back to you. Uh, we've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Gorum system. These strange objects have been flagged as Dalith aliens. Okay. We will... Research complete. Figure out what they are. Which I'm guessing will go very quickly. Flat cannons. Army damage, minerals from jobs, plus 5%. Oh, we can start exploding exotic gases. Which we have some, so I don't know. I'm going to unlock that because I know we have some uh, around. At least I thought we did somewhere. All right, so our construction ship is done here. You are going to come out here. We'll just kind of work our way out to blocking that spot off, I think. Clear rivalry. Really? Uh, okay. 
Like, how do we do that the then? The diplomacy screen is where we communicate with other civilizations. Here we can declare war, form alliances, and implement trade deals with our neighbors, amongst other things. So they are equivalent to us, but apparently they have declared rivalry on us. Yep, so I guess we want to declare rivalry back. And all is well and good. To get some influence. And we may want to continue to looking into uh, our amazing fleet here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce you first, and then we'll worry about upgrading you. Construction complete. Yes, you're doing good there. After successful translating the language, we have established communications with the Wakegi trade unit. Diplomatic uh, channels are now open. Peaceful traders. Friendship set to music. Actually, they're spiritualist and xenophile, just like us. So, presumably, we should be able to be friends. Oh, those are guys are way down here. Wow, hello. Hello. We're actually starting to find some people. Finally. Excuse me. I you so I can sneeze. Uh, no, this is cool. It's good. I have a feeling we might be able to be friends with you guys. Since we are similar in a lot of ways. Okay, so you are... Are you upgrading? Oh, you're not the one that was upgrading. We want to upgrade to that. And you also have overcrowding. So we're going to also build a city. Okay. We also have some unemployment, which we may need to start worrying about. Empire Capital's got some overcrowding as well. So we're going to build a city there. Um, and... Aether has building slots available and unemployment. We'll go ahead and knock out your temple. It's always good. Uh, we don't have... Oh, yeah, we do have that one going there. Do we have that going everywhere? No, we don't. Go ahead and lock that in there. Everybody else looks like it's going. So we're good. Um, Boibos has unemployment. We are a generator world, so another one of these would be useful. Also, like to unlock those things at some point. What are they? Uh, like the volcano dense. Okay, we can do the dense jungle. Uh, oh, there we go. So we'll start working on that. That'll give us even more slots for that as well. Um, TV land. Um, Agri world still. I mean, it's not terrible to can at least have one of my systems continue to be agri world. You do have a lot of slots available, to be fair, for agro stuff. So, why not? Xfury, you're a generator world. You do not have the things to uh, clear out your blocker at the moment. So, I still think I'm just going to hold off on you then because it's not well. We could train an army or something, but I just don't know if that's useful. Yeah, we'll hold off for now. I mean, it's fine. And then, Decidia. You are an industrial world. Artisan output. Don't have a building slot available at the moment. Lots of generator slots, though. So we'll do that. Okay, I think everybody's building something at the moment. Um, we can still do what we're going to trade hubs over here, I suppose. Like, get them some things. We do have some buildings available. I mean, we could just do some hydroponics just to get some food or something. Dock ship upkeep goes down. I mean, resource silos... I just don't feel like we need them. I don't know, whatever. Let's get some food going. And some of these. Do also have some modules we'll have to look into here in a moment. So Strike Force can still be upgraded. It's about to be at its, its fleet cap. Now, we could go even more. We could have a second fleet, but... I think for now this is okay for the moment. Science oh, Shine Ship's back. Hello. Welcome back. Complete. 
Uh, can you come out to here and survey that system? Uh, we need to put you back on evasive. There we go. Construction complete. Construction's complete. We got a lot of food coming in now. Plenty of food. You are a construction ship. Were you going anywhere? I guess not. Um, I have one down here still, right? No. Wait a minute. Where's my other construction ship? Oh, it's here. Oh, you're the ones going up there. Okay, no, that's fine. So this is this one can come down here. I think I might have gotten up confused. Uh, you can stay down this area. I mean, there's a lot of minerals and some signs over here. Why not? Start heading our way up this direction. Let's build a star base over here. Because obviously we know that's a good planet for us. Uh, tradition available. So this is a new one we can start picking up. Uh, I mean, we can go down to Harmony uh, for some... Oh, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Diplomacy, that's the one I'm thinking of. Some more... Um, Excuse me. Nice options for our new friends that we're just now finding. Or future enemies. But I'm feeling like supremacy might be kind of critical. I have a feeling war is within our future. So if we adopt this, we do get more star base capacity as well as army damage, which both sound pretty good. So I think I'm going to go down supremacy and go that route. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Let me pause it. Um, and uh, when we come back, we will see. Actually, before I do that, let me check something real quick. Can I? Um, let's see what Keggy. They have a CB on us, really. I would like to like, be friends with you. I mean, I'd like to non aggression pack. We'll increase the trust of us, and it will cost us some unity, which is fine. So they gave us that. What about commercial pack? It will also cost us stuff. Um, we'll get a little bit of energy. They'll get a lot more, but I still feel like it's a good thing. Just keep our trust going up. Feels like a decent idea. And um, yeah, no, let's get, let's get that going. There's really nothing else to do with any of these other ones, right? Because uh, these other ones are just minor ones. What about... Uh, who's the ones that we had just next to us? Bascindia? You can hire a leader. Oh. I mean, it's cool. Don't know if we need it right now, but it would be kind of cool to go to do that at some point. Go raid these guys. Three thousand energy credits for you to go teach them a lesson. Why not? Let's try it. We'll find out what that just did next time. I do appreciate you watching. Thank you and goodbye.